Well, anytime that you have a concern, we want to hear about it and help you get some answers. So when Kevin Fisher emailed 7 News Detroit, I knew I wanted to look into this road, a newly built road in Warren already showing signs of deterioration. This on the heels of a road millage that will be voted on in Warren come August. So I spoke with Kevin to hear more about what he's dealing with with this road. Then I took his concerns to a concrete expert, the city engineer and a city council member. Here's what I found out. It's still concerning that in less than two years uh, that you see that occur. Kevin Fisher has lived in this Warren neighborhood near Cosgrove for nearly 37 years and drives this street just about every day. He says it was back in January that he noticed the road built in 2022 was starting to show signs of deterioration. I don't know what's going on. Um, I don't know if the concrete's defective or if it was a bad batch, but as a taxpayer, um, I want good quality product. Why did you reach out to 7 News Detroit? I wanted to get some answers. Uh, you guys are the investigators and I'm sure you'll dig into it. After doing some digging, I learned this is not an issue, just isolated to Warren Roads. Where else have you seen this in Southeast Michigan? We've seen this in a, in a few other uh, locations that come to mind, such as Garden City, Woodhaven. Steve Walkis is the executive director and CEO of the Michigan Concrete Association. He tells me this concrete issue has been popping up primarily in Metro Detroit. So what is this? He says it's called scaling. It's where the surface mortar of the concrete is, is not durable, comes off uh, and exposes kind of the roughened aggregate you know, surface below. Is this at all dangerous? It's not dangerous. It's primarily uh, an aesthetic concern. It can leave the slab rough uh, in spots if it gets a little deeper than just on the very surface. So how does this happen? Walkis says it can be a number of reasons from the weather to how the cement is mixed. Warren City Engineer has her own theory. It's due to 2022 regulations placed by Eagle on the cement manufacturing industry uh, in order to reduce CO2 emissions. They've added more limestone to it, so it does cure faster. Tina Gapshus tells me all of Warren's road projects have a three-year warranty on them. She says they're waiting to see if Cosgrove and a few other roads where this has happened in Warren gets any worse. Why not use that three-year warranty now? Because at least one person that I'm talking to is saying, well, this looks bad. Yeah, it looks bad, but it is it is structurally safe, like I said, and we are keeping an eye on it until next year, and we do have until the end of next year, and that is a possibility. You know, we can use that warranty and maybe have them place the sealant on it or maybe have them diamond grind it. The timing of this all, not ideal. In August, voters in Warren are heading to the polls to vote on a road millage. Instead of the typical five-year millage, the city is asking voters to approve a 20-year millage. That way, the city can take out a bond for between 80 to $100 million to use the millage to pay off that bond over time. The idea is to get more work done with more money compared to the typical $8 million they're currently allotted a year through the current bond. John Lafferty sits on Warren City Council. He tells me this road issue will not be a systemic problem. What you're seeing here today is was a one-time issue and we will have, you know, we'll learn from this and have better quality going forward. At this point, do you see yourself voting for this road millage or not? Uh, I would have to have more guarantees that the roads are going to be built right and that it shouldn't be decaying like this. The Michigan Concrete Association is now launching an investment.